Somewhere in the world there is a good old lady waiting to cook a meal for you. But actually you have to wait to eat for a whole year. Now what do I mean? We are about to find out together. Deep in the bayou, on this street, down this road, and this windowless tin shack is a restaurant run by one woman whose dishes are so good you have to wait a year to try them. So first of all two things come into my mind. Who is gonna know that this there right there without a windows is a restaurant and second of all why do you have to wait for a whole year? Probably to find the place maybe? Searching I've for been it? Cooking Cajun food for at least over 60 years. An experienced woman in cooking. Welcome to Alzina's, a Cajun restaurant with no staff and no menu. Just chef out. No staff and no menu. There you go, the main reason why you have to wait for a whole year to eat a dish. She's alone cooking for everyone and she's probably famous in her place. I honestly never heard of her. Alzina in her kitchen and it's housed in one of the most unassuming places. A former welding shop that was once owned by her son. I uh, turned this into kitchen because I love cooking. And you don't have that uh, big bump in the middle. Right. My son was in the process of moving uh, to a bigger place. Oh, she's having a very, very fancy oven. I was about to uh, just say that everything there looks so old. It's probably never been touched. And there you go, the ultra oven from the future. So instead of closing it, he asked me if I wanted to convert asked this, me. so I converted it into a kitchen. I want it to be open, where I cook and where they eat, because they can see what you're doing. Most of the people that come, they want to take part in what you she's, do. She's having quite a lot of customers and they're all pouring the food for themselves, so I'm 100% sure that this is one of those places that you do not pay per meal, you just donate uh, whatever amount of money you want to donate for the meal, which is an amazing idea and I really hope my own country Bulgaria someday implements it. Cajun food, I think it's the best food in the world. I was raised on it. To me it's simple cooking. You start with your bell pepper, your onion, your garlic, a lot of garlic, celery, and then you saute that in a small amount of oil and then you start adding your other ingredients, whatever you're cooking, if it's a gumbo or jambalaya or fried. Gumbo and jambalaya, I've never heard about those foods and those words in my life. Shrimp, what's better than that? Oh yeah, taste it and then put the spoon back. As good as that Grand sounds, style. eating at Alzina's can be tricky. There are no walk-ins and reservations can only be made by calling her on her landline phone. Thank you for calling. I didn't want walk-in because I think I would have been very unhappy. Vulcan, her, her oven there is called Vulcan. I'm a hundred percent. This oven right there comes from Russia or Bulgaria or some Slavic country. I live a simple life and this is the way I like my life. Simple, no computer. Just a simple telephone. I'm booked up until uh, next year. I'm all. See, this resonates with the mantra that if you do something that you love for a very, very long time and you get very, very good at it, money will flow in. I really hope this is true. <laughs> Always booked up in a year advance, and uh, I like it better that way. Over those 40 years, Alzina's has been pretty successful garnering the attention of magazines, politicians, and celebrity chefs. People from all over the world have flocked to Alzina's kitchen for her authentic Cajun food. But for Alzina, the experience is all about making people feel at home, like a family. It exactly looks like that. She brings this warm feeling of a family member. When Even sits come, with the customers. It's a tin building. So they say, where we're at, and you don't realize that it's here. But when they step in the kitchen, you it's a different world. It. I really think they're happy. I feel the peace in the kitchen 
and then they mingle family that haven't seen each other for maybe a year, two, three years. It bring happiness to them. It seems like an amazing social place even for a super antisocial person like me. And it feels like granny is cooking for you. And it bring happiness to me. I was born to serve, not to be served. I was born to serve, not to be served. Wise words. Well, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And for the super crazy people, thank you for clicking the join button and said sending super thanks. Bye.